Microplastics are tiny plastic particles, typically less than five millimeters in size, that have become pervasive pollutants in the environment. They can enter the food chain and, ultimately, the human body, posing potential health risks. Here's how microplastics enter food and the potential harm they can cause. How microplastics enter food. 1. Environmental contamination. Microplastics are released into the environment from sources like plastic waste, synthetic textiles, and industrial processes. They accumulate in water bodies, soil, and air, contaminating ecosystems. 2. Uptake by marine life. Microplastics are ingested by marine organisms such as fish, shellfish, and plankton, mistaking them for food. These particles can accumulate in the tissues of seafood, which is then consumed by humans. 3. Agricultural contamination. Microplastics in soil and water can be absorbed by crops and vegetables. Fertilizers made from sewage sludge, which often contains microplastics, can also contaminate farmland. 4. Food packaging. Microplastics can leach into food and beverages from plastic packaging, especially when exposed to heat or acidic conditions. 5. Airborne microplastics. Microplastics in the air can settle on food during preparation or consumption, especially in urban or industrial areas. How microplastics cause harm in the body. Once ingested, microplastics can potentially cause harm through several mechanisms. 1. Physical damage. Microplastics can cause inflammation or damage to tissues in the digestive tract, lungs, or other organs due to their small size and sharp edges. 2. Chemical toxicity. Microplastics often contain harmful additives like phthalates, bisphenol A, BPA, and flame retardants, which can leach into the body and disrupt hormonal systems. Endocrine disruption. These chemicals are linked to reproductive issues, developmental problems, and increased cancer risk. 3. Bioaccumulation. Microplastics can accumulate in the body over time, as they are not easily broken down or excreted. This accumulation may lead to long-term health effects, though research is still ongoing. 4. Carriers of pathogens and pollutants. Microplastics can act as carriers for harmful bacteria, viruses, and toxic pollutants. For example, heavy metals or persistent organic pollutants, which can be released into the body upon ingestion. 5. Immune system response. The body may recognize microplastics as foreign invaders, triggering an immune response that could lead to chronic inflammation or autoimmune issues. E is 6. Potential for cellular damage. Some studies suggest that very small microplastics, nanoplastics, can penetrate cells, potentially causing oxidative stress, DNA damage, and other cellular dysfunctions. Current research and unknowns. While the presence of microplastics in food and the human body is well documented, the full extent of their health impacts is still being studied. Researchers are investigating. How much microplastic exposure is harmful? The long-term effects of chronic exposure. Whether microplastics contribute to diseases like cancer, metabolic disorders, or neurological conditions. How to reduce exposure, Raswa. 1. Limit consumption of highly processed and packaged foods. 2. Choose fresh, locally sourced produce and seafood. A. 3. Avoid single-use plastics and opt for reusable or biodegradable alternatives. Assets. 4. Support policies and initiatives aimed at reducing plastic pollution. By understanding the pathways of microplastic contamination and their potential health risks, individuals and societies can take steps to mitigate their impact on both the environment and human health.